Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video where we're hanging out in Gabby's room. How's the kitty? Good. She's very playful. So we brought her down that little cat bed. Remember about that little cat bed? And we put it in here for her. Gabby, you sleep in her. This morning I asked Gabby, how was the night? And she said she's nocturnal. Apparently she stayed on Gabby's bed the whole night and she kept licking Gabby's head. It, Gabby was happy about it though. She was smiling and laughing about her. So uh, clearly it is such a good thing for Gabby. It's incredible what God leads you to. But I wanted to tell you guys something that really helped me to start looking forward, forward after Chino died. After Chino died, I was really struggling with it. Like I just couldn't find my way and I can always find my way. It sometimes takes me a few days, but when something dies, I, I struggle the most with it, even though I understand that it's, it's, it's gonna happen to all of us. And, and there's so much more to it than just someone dying. But anyways, I was really, really struggling. And then a viewer messaged me, oh, here she is. A viewer messaged me and she said, do you remember you had that dream? And I didn't remember the dream, but after I started thinking about it, I do remember the dream. I remember that before we moved to this farm, I had a dream and it was a weird dream. I could hardly even remember the dream. It was like, I remembered it just as I was waking up, but then it was gone. I could hardly remember it. And I said it on camera and I said it to you guys. I had the weirdest dream last night. Last night I dreamed that Stella came back and she took one of our horses with her. I think it was Chino. That's what I said. That's what I said in the video. That's what she heard. That's what she reminded me. I said, I remember saying it. <laughs> She's licking my toes. Knowing that it was God's plan all along, really helped me to be able to move forward and look forward because how could I dream that, God, I scared her. How could I dream that Stella came and took Chino so many months before we even knew that he was sick? Like, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's the one thing that's really been helping me. And then I have something else I want to tell you guys too. But first, let's see if we can get the kitty out. She just came out, but she ran back under the bed because Sophie sneezed. Did you sneeze? No, I scared her. Oh. That was her hissing. What? That was her hissing. Here she comes. <laughs> so her name is <laughs> Anya. We let Gabby name her because Gabby really needed it. She needed to have like a connection with something and that made her feel like happy again. So far she's doing really well down here by herself. Uh, we all come down, Sophie's down here all day. Gabby stayed down here so long yesterday. She even studied, did all of her studying for her tests today down here. Yeah, we didn't ask how she did with Molly, we just asked how she slept. <laughs> she said terrible. She said terrible because she kept licking her head all night. There's her little box. She's digging. Oh, she's peeing! Oh, she's just playing. <laughs> I think she's gonna pee though. Or she's gonna sleep in there. <laughs> she's overzealous. <laughs> she's peeing. She's peeing. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So we keep all the other dogs upstairs. Eventually I'd like to bring her up and let her like meet the dogs and, but it has to be like one dog at a time and it has to be slow. She's only been here for not even 24 hours and we need to go really slow with her because we don't want to stress her out. And so far it's going so well. Look at how like bold she's becoming. <laughs> she's digging it. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I so believe it in my heart that this cat was meant to heal Gabby just the way it happened and the way that Gabby reacted to her. And then Sophie's like, oh, I really wanted a kitten. And I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> I wanted to love her and spend time with her and have her for me too. But we all agreed Gabby needs her most right now. And that's okay. She's so super sweet. Look at that. She's over there eating and drinking, going to the bathroom while we sit here and watch her. I haven't seen her go in her little bed yet, though. She thinks Gabby's bed is her bed. <laughs> she does think Gabby's bed is her bed. It feels kind of weird being down in Gabby's room when Gabby's not even here. I know, it's so nice down here. What would you do with this room? 
I would at least put a couch over on this wall, a carpet here so that I could watch my TV. I'm fine if he has more grain because he's more energetic and we have days like that show and he was perfect that day. Oh. And then I'm glad they do the pleasure last so I can let him like have his head, I can let him put his head down. But it's probably good with framing even though I never even frame him. You lick the clean, Stormy boy. That's the cleanest bucket we have right now. <laughs> He's like, I just need to lick it more. Coming out too, Stormy boy. So uh, the other thing I want to tell you guys about Chino and us sharing his story don't push her off. Let everybody share. Ellie, stay. Oh, good golly. <laughs> Morning roll. Ellie, stay away. All right, good boy. Ellie's just wild here. She's like, woohoo! <laughs> All the horses are in the barnyard. Hi, honey. So the other thing I wanted to tell you, hey, don't eat my cord. So the thing, the other thing that happened when we showed Chino's story, I got a message from a, from a lady and she said that, wow, look at how good they fit around this round bale. She said that she had a horse and the horse, she couldn't get the horse to gain weight. Just could not get the horse to gain weight, no matter what she tried. And so after seeing Chino's story, she had her tested for Lyme disease. And sure enough, the horse had Lyme disease. She sent me an update video of her today and the horse is doing so well, looking amazing, running around like crazy and in the video, the lady seemed so like shocked to see her horse so full of energy. So sharing Chino's story really, oh, don't cry, Laura, don't cry. <laughs> sharing Chino's story has even, if it even helped one horse, it would have been so worth it. Like Chino saved another horse from going through that same route that he went through, all that pain at the end. And that really helped me to hear her story and to hear like, that Chino helped them really, really, really helped me to know that he didn't just die in vain, that he did help someone else. And hopefully over time, more people will see his story and maybe I'll make another video and more horses can get diagnosed with Lyme disease that have it because it's such a weird disease. Did you guys know that Lyme disease mimics so many other, like they call it the mimicking disease. It mimics so many other issues, which is why we had our vet out so many times. Uh oh, over the last year, over the last two years, because we thought he had like all these other problems. We thought he had, we thought he was metabolic and there were times when he was really chubby, but they call it the mimicking disease. It's really hard to figure out that the, that you're dealing with Lyme disease. So the more people that are aware, the happier and healthier other people's horses will be. one that walks up to us and sits in her lap. Yep. Get some goats, they said. They'll be fun, they said. 
All right, the goats are killing me. We actually have to fix all fencing again. We're gonna do different fencing this time. Look, Gracie, I don't know why Gracie's down there. Oh, here come the goats. Here come the devil goats. I swear to God. Storm, you're so cute. Yeah, so cute. Look at them. I swear to God, those goats are, are a lot of work, man. Hi, Stormy. He's like, you better have We peace. gotta clean the field today, too. He's a big guy. Do you know guy. that all the viewers are like, hey, look how good you are with your mares, and yet you don't want a mare? I don't. But Only for train trips. Ellie! 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 <laughs> she looks like I'm going after you. Oh my gosh. Let's get out of here. Sophie says she likes mares better than geldings because they're smarter. But they're more temperamental to ride. So for riding, her confidence is based on having a gelding. One thing I did not know about having a farm <laughs> was how noisy it's going to be. This farm is so noisy. Like, I feel bad for our neighbors. Fortunately, they're pretty far away. But literally, it's the noisiest place. Like, as soon as you walk out and they see, see as I get further away, they don't know I'm out here and they don't make any noise. The goats are noisy. The goose is noisy. It's time for some kitty toys. Here's the cat section. Oh look, that little thing is cute. It would probably love this. And it's pink. Oh, pink shiny car collar. Gabby wants a pink collar for her. You should have some balls. Those will be all over Gabby's bedroom floor. We're at the horse show. We got together with our friends and we made all of our plans till Christmas. So we have so many plans. And you guys know, one of the things that we like to do is a Santa Claus parade. And we want to bring our pets with us. So. We're all trying to figure out who we're gonna bring. Do you guys wanna know who we're gonna bring? Okay, so I could bring Ellie, Penny, or a goat. Those are my three choices for the Santa Claus Parade. Who could you bring? I could bring Honey, Willow, Goat, Turkey, no, not Turkey, uh, Peacock. Yeah, okay, so it's not Penny's thing. I'm not gonna drag her to a Santa Claus Parade. I know it's not her thing. Honey and Willow would love it. Honey and Willow would love I'm it. I'm probably gonna bring Honey because she needs to get out more and... Yeah, and she's got the energy for it. But then I it. feel bad that Willow's not going, so I might just have to bring both. So I am gonna bring Ellie. I'm excited to bring Ellie. Ellie's got the energy, she's got the cuteness. I can dress her in anything and she'll be adorable. So I'm definitely bringing Ellie. I kind of wanted to bring something more exotic, like a horse or a goat or something, but I'm bringing Ellie, I'm excited. She's got the energy. And Sophie's bringing Honey, possibly Willow, and we're bringing Gracie for Julia. Gabby's bringing Molly. And we have the Royal Winter Fair soon. Royal Winter Fair, we're super excited about that one. Ellie could be a prisoner, because that's kind of what she needs to be. Have... So yeah, that would be good for her. But I'm more like the kind of person who would want my, my dog to be a pumpkin. So we bought a little toy for Molly. We bought all this stuff for the cat. So I ended up getting some wood stickers. Do you guys know what I mean by wood stickers? And I'm gonna try and make this little box prettier. And then I'm gonna try and do something fancy to the lid. I don't know, I haven't quite decided yet, but I still love this little box. So these little pieces of twine-like stuff came with the hay bag. Oops. So I'm gonna try and repair the holes. That little boy, he heard me, and then all of a sudden he's just screaming for me. You guys could use your fly mask again today. Wow, they are devouring this hay. I don't have treats, what are you eating? the heck is that? Oh, they all heard me. They're all like, she has treats, I know it. <laughs> Look at this baby. She's so cute. Hey, yeah, you stay away from her. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Look at you getting all fluffy again. So there's like, well, yeah, see, they found this hole. <laughs> the, the goats could literally go right in there. So I'm gonna try and repair this. The barn yard is a happy place again, guys. I wonder who made this hole here. Was it you? Hi, Pen. Look, 
you got a little something on you. All right, so one section fixed. Let's walk around here and see if there's any other holes. Oh, yep. There's a big one. Who did it? I know the other one was Penny for sure. I feel like this one was Gracie. It's the girls. I don't actually feel comfortable squatting down here and between two horses with one being like the lead horse because at any time Storm can try and push Gracie off and then I'm in trouble. See, just like that. Stop being mean. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. Okay, so this is what the patch looks like. It's just a patch to fill one hole. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. How you fix it, I have no idea how to use this. I did not Google it. But I think I got all the holes for now. Yep, I think we're good, we're good. <laughs> Penny versus the goats. Penny's actually super tolerant. I'm surprised how tolerant, oh, she's peeing. Yay. Up in. Look at I'm totally surrounded by animals. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming down to help you. The girls go into heat. They surround this fence. And we've zip tied it to like the death. I have to cut them all still. And I've like tried really hard to keep them from getting through. But the buck and the girls literally push so hard in spots that they just keep breaking holes over here for real like look at this i fixed this this morning and he can still get his head through there and he's rubbing on me we're gonna go into heat again soon so i want to make sure that we have this completely fixed at this point that they're safe to go into heat like we have a barn that we can birth babies in so it's not going to be as much of a hardship if they just had like a little shed or something in winter if they gave birth in winter but we want to do it so that the babies are born in april or may so we're gonna try. Sam's like, should we take this other stuff off? I'm like, holy heck no. Leave it on because it's double protection. So we're gonna put this fence. So Sam's gonna build a shelter, an outside shelter for the boy goats. They probably never even stay outside. But we're gonna utilize this tiny feeder isn't it cute i'll show you where it's gonna go we're gonna leave it here until nighttime because if we start trying to open fences and get these through this thing through we just know that the boy is gonna try and run with the girl hello babies <laughs> so the girls have this feeder here so i know like in the winter they'll be able to be here anyway we got the gate fenced fixed ish the buck loves this thing though he hangs out underneath it all the time um, so what Sam's gonna do is he's gonna build a shelter right here So it's gonna come out from this wall and block this area in and then it's gonna have a little roof Just be like a little shelter and then we're gonna put that hay feeder inside of it so that it doesn't get wet Yeah, that's the plan. She's like I'm here. Oh Willow's at the bail now And these guys are in the shade good choices. I'm gonna come and clean your field my, I, we got to get that gate out of here. That is not safe for horses, huh? But I love that you guys are hanging in the shade. So a little farmyard is actually working out super well for us. The horses are doing well in it. Everybody's sharing with the round bale, which I was worried about. Ooh. This has been like the coolest thing, having the trailer set up in here. He sleeps up here. He comes down at night, but he's been really good about staying at home. He's been so super good. I hope that you like that we oh, got I you a friend. Cat. I know, everybody wants the cats to be indoor now, except for Sam. Stop scratching. My hands are all white. <laughs> He's like, scratch me. I love my cat. I know, so you have a cat. It's good that Gabby got yeah, a cat. Yeah, another kid. No. Yeah, we want more. If we didn't get you fixed, you could have had kids. Yep, but he's fixed. That's why he hated us. And now he loves us again. Yeah, so when we got him fixed, that was the last straw for him. He was like, I'm done with this. Hello, baby. He's so friendly. Yeah. He's chunky too. Yeah. Save some baby mice for me. <laughs> Alive <laughs> ones, hopefully. <laughs> Sophie's determined to get a baby mouse. Don't you know that you're beautiful?